Hi guys, John Ives here. And Jamie, what's up? Hi, we're here in Barcelona, Spain. We are just fresh from OPPO's innovation event mm -hmm. where they showed off a, their 10 times optical lossless zoom concept. Mm -hmm. Now we've spent a few minutes inside the show floor actually playing yeah. around with a, I have to uh, reiterate this, yeah. this is a dummy device, uh, not dummy, this is a, a prototype. Uh, prototype device yeah. that they stuck the, the triple, triple lens uh, 10 times optical zoom uh, camera module into this is not a a like a phone that you can buy so they just put this together for the event just to show off uh, the optical zoom so what did you think of the uh, actually like uh, we were talking earlier that this is something that uh, improved on which is something that actually didn't show up on the phone so yeah. like two years ago if you don't remember they actually sent us to MWC uh, 2017 for something similar but it was five times optical zoom time five times lossless so this time it's uh, ten times lossless zoom um, we'll tackle about like how it actually works later on but uh, as I said they didn't make it to a phone this one yeah. this one they promised it will make it to a phone. so yeah the biggest change here is that Oppo did publicly promise during the live stream or during mm -hmm. the, the actual event that this will actually go on a phone mm -hmm. uh, the phone will be available uh, or announced second quarter of 2019, which kind of fits the the timeline because they announced the the Find X, uh, yeah. which is which became their flagship last year um, around the same time as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's going to be on their next flagship. Now, the 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 10 times optical zoom um, like innards are very similar to the 5x optical zoom. If you don't know how that works, it's basically it's a prism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a prism arrangement where they use several different lenses yes. uh, stacked together in a way that it delivers uh, ten times optical zoom. Now the big difference here is that instead of just two cameras, they're using three. So the way that uh, Oppo included the three cameras, or the way that they've integrated the three cameras, is that you now have coverage from um, sixteen millimeters to a hundred and sixty. So that's that's really like a really wide range of like focal lengths. Yeah. So so basically that that's the that's the idea of most phones nowadays. They, mm. they, the reason why why Samsung, why Huawei, why the other companies are actually using triple cameras nowadays is they want to be able to cover different focal lengths depending on what you're doing. So if you if you really want a wide landscape shot, you use a sixteen a wide angle sixteen millimeter lens and. Uh, Oppo wants you to have a, a lens that is able to go to up to 160 mm if you're doing like zoom shots. For example, if you're in a concert and you you really want to take a photo of of, uh, of your favorite artist yeah. on, on on stage. Now the most important thing to note here is that <clears throat> compared to other phone brands, one again lossless, but it does have image stabilization because you know, we were yeah. talking about it. The slightest movement can make your photo a little bit blurry but since you have IS on this thing it's really yeah. not clear. It's it's one of the most remarkable things that Oppo managed to do is basically put a image stabilization on an already very complicated zoom lens mm. or, or zoom arrangement because they're not just stabilizing one lens, you're stabilizing a variety of yeah. lenses inside the camera module. So that's that's really that's a really impressive technical achievement on their end to be able to actually do that. Uh, we have included two uh, sample photos. Uh, just a little disclaimer. Yeah. The the zoom image isn't that great mm -hmm. simply because I mean it's it's not a it's not final software yet. It's basically just something Oppo cobbled together. Yeah. To show you how it works. So yeah, you have to keep that in mind. Again, this is a prototype. Uh, it's impressive for what it is right now, but again. Keep yeah. Bear in mind that this is like the if final you're going point. to complain about image quality, we'd rather you actually do that when we have the yeah, the flagship the smartphone yeah. in our hands, uh, because if like if you'll probably see, you're probably seeing B-roll of the video, mm -hmm. um, the, the smartphone that they were showing is just there's there yeah. there isn't even a selfie camera. <laughs> no selfie camera. Uh, it's inside not, a case. Not a lot of things were working actually. So. And if you can see, like I tried zooming in and out, there's a bit of stutter. So yeah. So, so, so don't mind all. Usually, of those for now. like when you when you have a multiple lens um, phone, if you just press up the button, yeah, it basically just jumps to whatever uh, zoom 
or, or whatever yeah. lens uh, you want, but that this one you had to manually slide it. Yeah. So basically, the software isn't finished yet. So um, also, Oppo also announced that the their, their next flagship uh, will have 5G. So with Snap Snapdragon 855. So basically, the, today is what is basically them describing what's going into their next flagship. Yeah. So um, we're very interested to see uh, how or what kind of device Oppo shows us uh, in the next few months. Um, obviously, 5G isn't really relevant in the Philippines because yeah. you know we don't, <laughs> still don't have 5G uh, technology there or widespread 5G. But the rest is very promising. Snapdragon 855. Well, yeah, but that's basically all they said for now. But again, it's a flagship phone, so you could probably expect it to have like eight gigs of RAM. Yeah, like some insane number. Probably like eight, super, 10, 12, super whatever. Group. Again, yeah, like on-screen dis display, uh, uh, on-screen fingerprint, fingerprint scanners, scanner. just like every other uh, flagship nowadays. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. It's very impressive what they did. Uh, if the technology is like delivers, man. 2019 will be the battle of mm. zoom lenses for flagships, definitely. So again, like if we missed any details that you want to figure out, it's probably in John's article up on the website. I'll just leave that in the uh, description box down below so you can guys can check it out. But yeah, that's basically it. Very yeah. few details as of now. Uh, of course, uh, coming in Q2 2019, no specific date, but definitely something worth looking at. At least, it's, at least it's going to go into a phone. Like the technology yeah. is finally going into the phone. It's one of our question, biggest questions is why did the five times optical zoom yeah. did not make it into a, a smartphone? But now you're getting yeah. twice, it's definitely, definitely <laughs> twice gonna the zoom, it, yeah. which is 10 times optical zoom. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for this video. Yeah. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell. Again, check out the website for all the latest tech news and gadget reviews. So that's it. My name's Jamie. My name's John. See you guys later.